So what made God choose Moses? Moses is called the prophet of prophets. He is the prophet that connected with God to the highest degree. He spoke to Hashem face to face. What does that mean? It means he spoke to Hashem while awake. Whereas the other prophets spoke to God while in a state of unconsciousness, an altered state of consciousness, whether it was a dream or a vision. But Moses spoke to him directly and Hashem spoke to Moses directly. But what made God choose Moses originally? Obviously Moses was born with God-given skills and characteristics and wisdom and compassion and incredible capacity to perceive godliness. But there was something that made him some act that he did that made God specifically want him to be the shepherd of our people. And this goes back to the time where Moses was actually a shepherd. One time, one of Moses' sheep got away from the flock. He had 15 and the 16th. I don't know if it was actually 15 or 16, but I'm specifically one of them went away. Let's say 50, he had 15 with him and the 16th was missing. He searched and searched and searched for that sheep and found it. And when he found it, rather than getting upset with the sheep and angry, because obviously one sheep making the shepherd have to change his whole plans just for one out of 16 that is quite the hassle quite frustrating but rather than getting angry what did our shepherd do he felt compassion for the sheep he said oh you must have been thirsty you must have been hungry. I feel sorry for you. I'm so happy to have you back. And when our shepherd did this, our shepherd shepherd, the king of kings, Hashem, was impressed. And wanted no one else but Moses to deliver us from Egypt. Well, Hashem delivered us. But nobody to lead us like Moses. Moses always empathized with the people. Like a father and his child, Moses always tried to see things from the other person's perspective and always tried to see the benefit of the doubt the light at the end of the tunnel, when that sheep got away and slowed down the whole shepherd and ruined Moses' plans for that day with the sheep, Moses still empathized with the sheep and recognized that the sheep must have had a very real reason to, to, to wander away. And we can learn from this to always judge people in a favorable way. No matter what the situation is, you always want to see the good in somebody and try to feel his pain and pray for him and try to help him or her if you can. Because at the end of the day, we're all united. And we're all different parts of the Creator and different parts of each other, all encompassing a piece of the Creator, or Hashem encompasses us, to be more specific. We are all united. 
And we all have a spark of Moses in us. We all have the potential to resemble Moses in certain ways. Obviously not to the extent of connecting with Hashem face to face. But nonetheless, we still have the infinite potential to connect to Hashem. With hard work, there's no limit to the potential connection we could have to Hashem. With hard work, there is no limit. Our souls are infinite. There are peace of Hashem, who He Himself is beyond infinite. And the Torah is infinite. You can never stop learning Torah. No matter how much you've learned, there is still infinite more for you to learn. And even for Moses, there was infinite more for him to learn as Hashem is infinite. So never put limits on yourself because we are truly without limit. Shabbat Shalom.